Good morning, everyone. This is Kathy. Now, I had my camera on, my phone on, and it is shut off on me, so you didn't see me uh, splattering. I am using this dye from Close to My Heart, and if it's still available, I will list it below. I am using some of my Shimmer products. I had all these in a drawer. I hope you can see. I can hardly see it, but there's one color. And what I did is I um, put it, sprayed water on them, and then mixed it around. And then I took a, a paintbrush and I splattered, splattered, splattered. Now, Madison is in the background, but this layout is focusing on Abby. So I am tucking that little bit underneath that paper. Now the close the pa the background paper is cardstock from close to my heart. I'm pretty sure it's ballerina. And the checkered plaid paper, which is beautiful, is from Hip Kit. And I went ahead off camera and die cutted the flowers out. I'm just going to cascade them down diagonal down the page. I layered, I cut out some out of three. I did some white. I wanted some white um, accents to go along. And um, yeah, I. I love these flowers, and I took the time to just cut out several, you know, three different colors, and and then I went ahead and pop dotted most of them up, but I'm still going to need a little bit of foam to get them popped up all the way. Now, the... Um, I do end up grabbing some old rub-ons. Now, the So Sweet, I thought maybe I would use that. And I had this word lovely wrote in black. And I think that was from a collection from Coco Vanilla, maybe. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And I ended up using that. I am putting uh, big leaves underneath the big flowers, and then there's a die with like five little leaves on. I broke all them apart, and I'm using the little leaves on the smaller flowers. So my title, I had a, I have a really hard time thinking of titles to use on my page. So I went with uh, Lovely Nails is what my title ends up being because she is showing. Now, hopefully my daughter will know the story, where they were and stuff, and she can write on all these layouts for me. That's the thing when you're not there, you don't know, you know, what's going on in the photo, you know, all I got is that someone painted her nails and she was showing them off a little bit. I still have my cold, but I am feeling so much better. Not a hundred percent, but um, at least I'm not blowing my nose every five seconds until I start doing a voiceover. Then I have to blow. <laughs> but um, little Reagan... He is sitting on my lap and watching my video with me. And if he could talk, I'm sure he would. <laughs> He's a little stinker. He's a crabby old man. He's only three, and he is really crabby. <laughs> All right, I am still... I left a lot of this in... I needed one up there just to kind of help cover up the, you know, the stuff up here in the corner here. That way it's just Abby in the photo. 
It would have been a better photo if, you know, she didn't get photobombed in the back. <laughs> you know how kids are. All right, almost done with the flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I do bring in some newer, I think it was last month, um, Hip Kit had a package of hearts, real pretty colorful hearts that I bring in to scatter around. But first, I'm going to see about my title. So I'm going to use, it's like a greenish blue. <coughs> it kind of matches the paper. And I think those were 2004, I think. And you guys, they still rub off super, super easy, just like butter. I'll never get rid of these because they still work. They're, you know, you don't have to rub, rub, rub to get them to come off because they're so old. And these have always rubbed on super nice. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so I'm going to kind of nestle the um, nails down underneath lovely. Kind of put the S where the Y is hanging down. And I can't find my rub-on tool. So I'm going to use the back of an ink pen. See, it just rubs on, and I can almost use my nail, but I wanted a little bit more control. <coughs> All right. I tried to pause it to put on most of it so you didn't have to you know, sit through all of it, and I'm shaking the table and my camera, and I'm really sorry. All right, so I have these little pieces out, plus I pulled out some uh, thread when I was getting the shimmers out of that drawer, and I pulled two colors out. I'm just going to stick some on the upper right of the photo, just kind of tuck them in there, and then some over on the left underneath that, the pattern paper, just to kind of add a little bit of something to my page. <coughs> I got this from Missy, And it's just an extra detail that you can add to your page if you don't really have the embellishments. All right, so I like that. I'm going to add a little bit more glue. Okay, then I pulled these. Now, when you pull stuff out for your embellishments, um, do you like, um, does anything go, or do you, um, um, like, I try to find sayings that would kind of go with my photo. I have wow, and then nice, this is so exciting, and remember this. just to kind of cover up some of the empty s space of the bed that's in the photo. Here are these hearts. Aren't these pretty? And you know me, the rainbow colors are my favorite. I just love, love all the colors of these. I'm just going to sprinkle them around my layout.
and there's also some circles down below along with the little hearts that I'm using. After I do that, I'm going to, I pulled out these ephemera. Now, the one thing I have a hard time nowadays is the ephemera that come in the hip kit. Um, a lot of it just don't work with the layouts that I'm doing and I need to go through them and get rid of the ones that I know I will never use. Like, I have several package of ephemera, um, that I know I'll never use. So, I more or less go back to the stuff that they used to make like in 2000 or so the embellishments now these little tabs I had already cut out with my die set now this is for punched out Thursday to die for I forgot to mention that and the dies I use I will have everybody linked below that is playing along and I'll see you next month